You are welcome to News by 206 and these are the news highlights. NRM celebrates 37 years. Kasese municipality deny homosexual bylaw allegations. And in entertainment, Lillian Bavazi commemorates Radio Mose's birthday. And these are the news in detail. Today, the National Resistance Movement is celebrating 37 years. Under the leadership of President Museveni captured power on January 26, 1986, after a five-year Bush war. The main event is in Kakumiro district. Under the theme, our resolute efforts to transform Uganda is a promise we shall fulfill. The day will be graced by the president as the chief guest, and other members will include international delegates, ministers, members of parliament, and other dignitaries. According to NRM spokesperson, Mr. Emmanuel Dombo, today is worth being celebrated by Ugandans, especially by making a reflection on the post-independence non-democratic governments which engaged in a number of political struggles and conflicts. When the NRA, now NRM government, took over power in 1986, it promised democratic governance, rule of law and economic transformation based on the 10 points program. It is now 37 years ago and the successes can speak for themselves, Mr. Dombo says. But we cannot have wealth without human resource development. Therefore, there have been a number of educational reforms. Even recently we had the, the reform of the curriculum so that people, our children, should have practical skills in order to compete favorably globally. Whatever was put in the 15-point program was lifted and put in the constitution. Now, new Officials from Kasese district have distanced themselves from allegations of passing a bylaw on legalizing homosexuality in the area. This is after the Deputy Speaker of Parliament, Thomas Tayeba, during plenary on Wednesday, slammed Kasese Municipal Council local government over attempts to enact the malicious bylaw that promotes same-sex relationships. Tayeba informed the House that he had been briefed that the illegal bylaw was facilitated by Human Rights Promotions Awareness Forum, a non-government organization. What I thought I was, I knew, I'm, I'm really shocked. But to our shock, I received the news that Kasese Municipal Council, Kasese Municipal Council made an attempt to pass a bylaw that recognizes homosexuals and transgender people as minorities. It first came to me on social media. I did the verification. My office called the crack, called the cow, and we confirmed it. And uh, this was brought with the clearance of the executive, brought by the speaker of Kasese uh, district. I want to make this very clear to all local government, local governments in the country that there is no local government that can pass a bylaw that contravenes national laws. That's very pagnant. Um, I have, and, and this warning is very serious, and I want the minister of local government maybe to, to train these people. However, the council speaker Ukash Swaib says the house he presides over has never attempted to enact such a bylaw. The executive director of the Human Rights Promotions Awareness Forum, Dr. Adrian Juko, has also denied the accusations, saying the deputy speaker is on the warpath, adding that the laws they are pushing for are on equal access to healthcare for everyone and not necessarily homosexuality. Now they are using local governments. Uh, I'm trying to get uh, some other record they, they've sent me here. Uh, which I've managed to get uh, formally, that uh, the motion was sponsored by a group calling themselves Human Rights Awareness Promotion Forum, coordinated by a one Bob Chamanwa. I have the contacts. I'm going to pass them over to the Minister for Internal Affairs. And uh, luckily enough, the Secretary for Production in that council, the one who saved the day, and stood up and said, this council cannot pass 
laws that are in contravention of national rights. Now turning gears into entertainment, singer Mose Nachinti J. Sechiboga, a.k.a. Mose Radio's widow, musician Lillian Babazi, has continued to celebrate him even after years of his demise. She has commemorated his birthday with this beautiful and emotional letter to him. The multi-talented musician of the duo Radio and Whistle passed February 2018, following a bar brawl and was laid to rest on February the 3rd in 2018 in Nakawuka, Kaga. Through her social media platforms, Mbabazi has written this sweet message. I will always choose to celebrate the day Moses was born. Because he was born, I had my children. Because he was born, I met him. Because he was born, music in Uganda was changed. Because he was born, many musicians have been inspired. Happy birthday, my love. Keep resting well, my love. We miss you, she wrote. Radio would have turned 38 today. And many have wished the late happy birthday. Well, that's all we have for you today. Subscribe, like, share, and comment as well. And to keep these stories coming, make sure you turn on that notification bell.